Sometimes fossils don't just tell us about life from the past. They question everything we think we know about history itself, from metallic spheres found in billion-year-old rock to human footprints alongside dinosaurs. These discoveries shouldn't exist in our timeline, yet they do. In the early 1980s, miners in a region of South Africa uncovered small metallic spheres embedded into rock dated over 3 billion years old. These Klerkstorp spheres were perfectly round, with grooves carved neatly around their centers, something you'd expect from precision tools, not from an ancient planet that supposedly had no intelligent life. Geologists analyzed them, expecting a natural explanation, but that only deepened the mystery. Some were made of nickel-steel alloy that doesn't occur naturally in that composition. Even stranger, they were found in pyrophyllite rock, which itself is billion of years old. Some scientists argue they're natural concretions formed under unique pressure conditions, but skeptics say their symmetry and metallic makeup look manufactured. If that's true, it would mean intelligent beings, or some unknown process, existed on Earth long before humanity did. In 1968, a man named William J. Meister went fossil hunting near Antelope Springs, Utah. He cracked open a slab of Cambrian rock and froze. Inside was what looked like the print of a human sandal, complete with a crushed trilobite fossil embedded in the heel. Here's the problem. Trilobites lived 500 million years ago, long before humans existed. The rock itself dated to the same period. The print looked convincing. Heel, arch, even toe impressions. Creationists pointed to it as proof that humans lived with ancient sea life. Scientists, on the other hand, called it a coincidental erosion pattern. Still, the shape, depth, and placement of the trilobite under what looked like a shoe print were uncanny. Whether it's a hoax, coincidence, or something genuinely unexplainable, the Meister print remains one of the strangest fossil mysteries in North America. In 1936, a couple hiking near London, Texas, found a hammer partially embedded in rock that shouldn't even exist in the same era as humans. The rock surrounding it was dated around 100 million years old. The hammer's handle was partially fossilized, while the metal head was unusually pure, over 96% iron with traces of chlorine and sulfur, a purity level higher than what modern smelting techniques typically achieve without special equipment. Scientists later determined that the rock formation might have solidified around the hammer at a later date, but that explanation doesn't fully solve it. How did a clearly human-made tool end up sealed inside ancient rock? Some suggest it's evidence of lost civilizations. Others call it a geological fluke. Either way, the London Hammer shouldn't exist in our timeline. In the late 1800s, near Castenedolo, Italy, a worker discovered a fully modern human skull buried in Pliocene strata, sediments dating roughly three to four million years old. Archaeologists at the time were stunned. If the dating was accurate, that meant anatomically modern humans existed millions of years before Homo sapiens were supposed to evolve. Scientists initially dismissed it, suggesting the skull somehow slipped into older layers through cracks or animal burrows, but subsequent excavations revealed more human bones in the same ancient layer. Modern analysis are rare because the specimens vanished from public view for decades, but still, if authentic, it would rewrite human evolution entirely. This skull remains one of archaeology's most inconvenient discoveries. In 1971, miners in Utah's Copper Canyon stumbled upon something shocking. Fully human skeletons buried in the same strata as dinosaur fossils. Nicknamed the Malachite Man, the skeletons had greenish bones from copper deposits and were found 40 feet deep in Cretaceous sandstone, estimated at 65 million years old. Creationists hailed it as evidence humans coexisted with dinosaurs. Scientists countered that the bones had simply fallen into older fissures in the rock and were later covered by mineral deposits. 
Still, the discovery was never fully explained and carbon dating was inconclusive due to the copper contamination. Whether the skulls were misplaced or misdated, they sit uneasily with the established fossil record. Near Glen Rose, Texas, the Paluxy Riverbed is famous for its preserved dinosaur tracks. But what really caught attention were a series of human-like footprints running alongside them. The prints were large, detailed, and appeared to stride parallel to three-toed dinosaur tracks. If genuine, it would mean humans walked with dinosaurs, something mainstream science says is impossible by 100 million years. Researchers from the 1930s and the 1980s documented and cast several of these prints. Some were later dismissed as erosional features or carved hoaxes, but not all. Even Dr. Roland Byrd from the American Museum of Natural History inspected them in the 1940s and admitted some, quote, appeared disturbingly human. Today, most of the prints have eroded or been vandalized, but old photos and molds keep the debate alive. In 1998, a group of Russian scientists found what looked like a metal screw embedded inside a piece of limestone in the Kaluga region. X-ray analysis revealed the object was shaped exactly like a modern screw, about one inch long, and appeared to have threading wrapped perfectly around its body. The limestone, however, dated back 300 million years from the Paleozoic era. Some claimed it was proof of ancient advanced technology, or even extraterrestrial machinery buried in Earth's crust. Skeptics suggest it was a sea crinoid, a marine organism that fossilizes with a spiral pattern resembling a screw, but microscopic tests showed the threads were too uniform to be organic. To this day, this screw remains a physical artifact in Russian archives, fueling theories about prehistoric technology. 1978, paleoanthropologist Mary Leakey discovered a trail of footprints preserved in volcanic ash in Laetoli, Tanzania. At first glance, they looked perfectly human, arched feet, aligned toes, and even a distinct heel-toe walk. The layer of ash was dated to 3.6 million years ago, long before Homo sapiens. Scientists later attributed the prints to Australopithecus afarensis, an early human ancestor, but not everyone agreed. The prints were so similar to modern humans that some researchers questioned whether our evolutionary timeline was off. If our ancestors were already walking upright, like us, that long ago, it means bipedalism and possibly intelligence developed far earlier than anyone thought. In the early 20th century, a limestone slab discovered in Glen Rose, Texas appeared to contain a perfect fossilized human handprint. The print was complete with finger segments, thumb, and palm lines pressed into what was once soft clay. The rock itself dated to roughly 110 million years ago during the mid-Cretaceous period. Photographs and plaster casts of the print exist, but the original slab has long since disappeared, leading to accusations of a hoax. However, several reputable researchers examined it before it vanished and swore it was genuine. If it truly was a human hand fossilized beside dinosaur prints, it would be one of the most extraordinary finds in paleontological history. A lesser known discovery from the same Utah region as the Meister print came to light years later. A geologist named Dr. Clifford Burdick found what appeared to be another human shoe print, but this time much deeper and more defined. The rock was Cambrian, again over 500 million years old. This print showed a smaller foot, almost childlike, and like the Meister sample, it was partially fossilized in a way consistent with pressure on soft mud. It reignited the debate about out-of-place fossils, objects and fossils that defy the accepted geological timeline. To this day, no one has been able to definitively prove these prints are natural formations, but they've also never been able to conclusively debunk either. If both prints are real, it would mean something human, or human-like, walked Earth long before life as we know it evolved. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.